Okay, welcome to our fellowship here, June 19th, 2022. We'll have uh, our regular announcements and prayer time, and then our hymn. And we will be continuing our study in Jeremiah. Dr. Bubba is going to be courageous and take two chapters today. So buckle up, get your coffee. Actually, one of them is only like seven verses long. So. Five verses. Sorry. And then hopefully we get Proverbs in a day, and then last day of the morning will be First John chapter 4. And then we'll close out with him. As far as announcements goes, not too much going on as we head into summertime. But if you miss anything, go back and watch YouTube. And then our cartoon. I've used this one before, but just to play on words, I like these. Technically, it's a rod. Think it will be okay? Do you see the staff parking? Oh. Yeah, it, it's one of those uh, kind of silly, funny ones. So, anything to add, gentlemen? Yeah. I mean, I, you know, you go to the airport and you see the little parking spots, and it says like for small vehicles. It's like, what do you consider a small vehicle? It's like, I got, I got an F-150. I mean, it's smaller than a 450. You know. <laughs> That's kind of what this cartoon reminds me of. So. Okay. so with that, we'll go off air and we'll come back with uh, Jeremiah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. There he is in the back there. I was wondering where you were, young man. If you would, turn with me in your Bibles to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 44. Jeremiah, chapter 44. And let us go to our Lord in prayer. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this time you give us together as a local body gathered together around your word, Lord. Once again here seeking to grow as disciples of yours, Lord. We need, especially in this world today, we need to be so focused on your truth. And so Lord, we just thank you. Thank you for your word that you gave us. We can never thank you enough. Please lead us now as we work through Jeremiah, Lord. And uh, just... Just guide us through your word and show us how to take it in, Lord, and use what we learn for your greater glory as we witness to the world, that you might be glorified in all things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, I just had some musical accompaniment there. That's that great. Yeah. People and their phones. Lord. Okay, well, last week we heard Jeremiah address the Jewish remnant who were now living in Egypt after leaving Judah against the instruction given to them by God. First, we heard Jeremiah recount to them their sins and the sins of their fathers and their leaders that caused them to be driven out of Judah by the Babylonians. Then Jeremiah spoke of these same sins being committed by this remnant now living in Egypt. And the main focus was on the sin of idolatry, worshiping false gods instead of worshiping Yahweh the one true God, and the God with whom they lived in a covenant relationship. He then delivered the same judgment as he had in the land of Judah before they left for Egypt. The Jews, who God had Nebuchadnezzar leave in the land, who then chose to go to Egypt, would die by the sword, famine, and pestilence, except for those who chose to escape. Those who heard these words of Jeremiah saw the error of their ways and chose to obey God and return to Judah. So until now, Jeremiah's audience has patiently listened to his prophetic words. But now, they will give him their response. Let's begin our study by reading verses 15 through 19 of chapter 44. I will be reading from the New King James Version. Then all the men who knew that their wives then all the men who knew gods, that their wives with all the women who stood gods, by, with all the women who and all the people who great dwelt in the land of Egypt, and all the people who dwelt in the land of Egypt, Jeremiah saying, Pathros, as, as for the word that you have spoken to us, as for the name of the Lord, spoken to us, we will not the name of the Lord, but we will not listen to whatever has gone out of our own certainly do to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and pour out drink offerings to her, as we have done, we and our fathers, we have done, kings and our princes, we and our fathers, in the cities of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem, 
And for then the we had plenty of food. We're well for off then and we saw had trouble. plenty of food. We're but well since off we and saw stopped no burning incense to the Queen of Heaven, since we stopped out drinking incense to her, her, we have lacked every offering and have been consumed we have by the sword and by famine. Consumed by the sword and by the famine. The women also said. And when we the burned women incense also to the Queen of Heaven, and when we burned incense to the Queen of Heaven, did we make drink cakes for her to her. worship her and pour did out we drink make cakes for her to her worship her and pour out our husband's permission to her without our husband's permission? Okay, let's start back at verse 15. Okay, let's start back at verse. You should recall that last week one of our questions was. You should recall that last Jeremiah week one of our questions was. Jews, how did Jeremiah address all cities, these Jews ranging from lower Egypt to upper cities? Egypt. Lower one of the theories, Egypt. which I think is supported here one in verse 15, 15 which I think is a pagan here in verse holiday 15, gathering of some sort. The pagan in Egypt, holiday gathering which these Jews attended, in Egypt, this is where we see Jeremiah Jews addressing. Them. This is where we see the Jeremiah only other thought that we have is somehow the only other thought that we have is somehow placed between, between him or people he sent out to them, him or people he sent out to them around the different places. It really doesn't seem to make sense in this context. It really doesn't seem to make sense. We're told here in verse 15 that there is a great multitude. Team, and this that is made up of great multitude. All the men, and this is made up of wives had burned incense to other gods, and all the women who stood to other gods, and all the women who stood by, who dwelt in the land of Egypt, all the people who dwelt in the land of Egypt in Pathros. We spoke last week of the areas in Egypt where the we Jews settled. Last week of the areas in Egypt where the Jews settled. And we looked at them Since on this Jeremiah, map. Says Jeremiah here in verse 15. Differentiates Says Jeremiah the here in verse 15. Differentiates the, the men, the their wives, and Pathros. the women from the, the people who dwell in Pathros. Were those Jews? I get the idea from the that the first group we mentioned were those last Jews. week. From the other Migdal, cities we mentioned Topanese last week. Memphis. Migdal, Toppenes, and Memphis. We also noticed last week how Jeremiah spoke. We also noticed last week how Jeremiah spoke specifically about the wickedness of the kings of Judah currently in their wives and their wives. That level of detail seemed unusual. That level of that detail until seemed we get unusual. To this today and see the role that is until we get to this pagan scenario. The role of the wives in this pagan scenario. So here scenario. we have the husbands and their wives. Here we have who the husbands and their worshiping false gods. Who the husbands and the Jews were worshiping false gods. Who were from the Southland, from Pathros. And the Jews all together from the Southland, from Pathros. And they all joined together as a great one answer to Jeremiah. And they all joined together regarding his statements from God. Regarding his statements from God. As for the word that you have spoken to us in the name of the Lord. We will not listen to you. We will, we will not certainly do whatever has gone out of but we our own mouth. Do whatever to, burn to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and pour our drink off to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and pour our, heaven and pour our we drink and our fathers, our, we our kings and our princes, in the fathers, cities of Judah, and, and in our the princes, streets of Jerusalem, in the cities of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem. How is that for a statement from independent? How is man? that for a statement from independent? That statement man? takes us back to the garden. That statement takes us back to the garden. And the serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die. The serpent said to the woman, the you will not surely you die. Your eyes will be open and you will be like God. eyes will be open and you will be like God. No, Adam and Eve and fell for the lie that they could be independent. Adam and Eve fell God. for the lie that they could be equal to God. God. And here in Jeremiah, we have an amazing example of this. Jeremiah, we will not listen to you. We, we will certainly do whatever has gone out of our own. We will mouth. certainly do whatever has gone out of our own. First, mouth. they were very specific about that which they would. First, they were very specific from Jeremiah. about that which they would as not for the word from Jeremiah. That you have spoken to us in as the name for the of word the that you have spoken to us the word in the Jeremiah name of the Lord, in the name of Yahweh. Word the one and the only of real God, the one and only real God, the God with whom they had made numerous, the God covenants with whom they had made numerous covenants with. But we will certainly do whatever has gone out of our own mouth. Whatever has gone out of our own mouth. Might Some refer think to this phrase, out of, this phrase out of our own mouth these people might refer to a vow taken by these cult, part of the winning a cult, the queen of heaven, surrounding the queen. And what went out of their own mouths? To burn and incense to the Queen of Heaven and pour out drink offerings to her, as we have done, we and our fathers, our kings, we have done, we and our fathers, in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. In the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. This statement is supported by Jeremiah's statement prophecy given at the temple gate. Way back in chapter seven, where we read this, verses seventeen and eighteen. This in verses seventeen and eighteen. Where we read this in verses seventeen and eighteen. Where we read this in verses seventeen and eighteen. Where we read this in verses seventeen and eighteen. Do you not see what they do in the cities do you of Judah not see and in the streets of what Jerusalem? What they do in the cities of Judah the children and in the gather streets wood. of Jerusalem. The fathers the children the fire, gather wood, and the women the fathers need kindle dough fire to make cakes for the women of heaven. And the women need dough to make cakes for the queen of heaven. Gods, and they pour they out drink offerings to other gods that they may provoke me to anger. The queen of heaven, 
amongst the, the Canaanites of heaven was known as Ashtar. Amongst the Canaanites we was known as Ashtar. We today use the Hellenized version of her name. We today Astarte. use the Hellenized version of her name. This goddess Astarte. was known among the Sumerian this and Akkadian people. This goddess was known among the Sumerian Ishtar. and Akkadian people. Both of them being as goddesses Ishtar. of sexuality and fertility, among, among other things. Sexuality and fertility, Since among these two pagan things. deities were female and powerful, it is thought that they were female and powerful. It is thought that they may have appealed especially to the women. The worship of this goddess was the pagan practice. The worship of this goddess for many was the pagan years practice of these Jews for as many years. Was declared to Jeremiah, as this we and our fathers, our kings and our princes, we and our fathers, our kings and our princes of Jerusalem, the cities of Judah, and in the streets, and they attributed their peaceful lives and they attributed their peaceful as they say here to this pagan deity. For then we had they say plenty here. of food. We're well off. For and then saw we no had trouble. plenty of food. But since we stopped burning incense to the Queen of Heaven, since we stopped burning and incense, drink offerings to her, we have lacked everything. Not drink and offering been her, by the we have lacked everything and consumed the sword in my family. So then, how so did their perspective become so twisted? How did their perspective attributing so the mercy and blessings of Yahweh, the mercy and blessings of Yahweh, to this, pagan deity? Yahweh, to this pagan deity? Well, if we look back a ways, well, to the if reign we look of King Manasseh, to the reign of he reigned for about 55 years. He reigned for about 55 reign. years. It was a peaceful a long period for Judah. It was a but peaceful Manasseh period for Judah. But Manasseh was an evil deity. king, and he supported but a Manasseh wealth of was pagan an evil deities. King and he and actually put altars for deities. some of them in God's temple in Jerusalem. In God's temple in Jerusalem. In God's temple you can read Jerusalem. about him and his reign in you can Second read Kings more. chapter 21. In Second Kings chapter. So during his long reign, idolatry and syncretistic his long worship reign, idolatry and syncretistic worship. But shortly after norm. the end of his reign, but shortly good after the end of his reign, into power, good and King Josiah the came into power, Judah, leading them back to Yahweh, Judah, as their one leading them back God. to Yahweh as their one. And only God. But then, Pharaoh Necho killed King <laughs> Josiah in battle Pharaoh and Necho took his successor to Egypt. <laughs> Then the successor to Nebuchadnezzar Judah. started the attack. Then Nebuchadnezzar. So it appears that these Judah. pagans attributed so these hard these pagans times attributed to King Josiah's hard attempt to make them worship to Yahweh. King Josiah's attempt because to make them worship Yahweh. Because peaceful when they had been worshiping the Queen of Heaven. Peaceful when they had been worshiping the Queen of Heaven. They thought this, of course, because they were never listening to the real prophets of God. They were never listening to the real prophets of God. By him, through their history, after the split of the nation, through their history, after the split of the nation, telling them to stop their idolatrous practices, telling them to stop their idolatrous practices, Yahweh, otherwise calamity and return exile would come upon them. Otherwise calamity and exile would come upon them. Forgot that. They apparently forgot that. Now, one might think that this group had made their point. Now, one might think, however, since the wives had been a point of focus however, in the judgment of pagan worship, they have one more thing to tell Jeremiah. They have one more thing to tell Jeremiah. The women also said, and when the women we also said to the Queen of Heaven, and poured out drink offerings to the Queen of Heaven, did we make cakes for her to worship her and pour out drink offerings for her to worship her without our husbands? Drink offerings to her without our husbands. Although the men of Judah were right there with them, standing against Jeremiah and his message from God, standing against Jeremiah and his message from God, that their husbands were make it clear that their husbands were worship of these pagan deities, and they actually approved of these pagan deities, and they actually approved of it. Showing their total involvement as in well. In looking at this period in Jeremiah's ministry, in looking at this period some point in to Jeremiah's the bad ministry, set by King some Solomon point to himself, the bad examples to where we see that he had taken himself, many pagan wives, where we see who that he aggressive in their pagan worships, and he passively followed their lead. And he passively followed their we lead. We also see this twisted perspective throughout church history. We also see the current day throughout church history. The unsaved throughout day. church history have blamed the many unsaved things throughout upon the church history have blamed because many of the restraints upon the church the teaches, and because the of the restraints the Bible teaches in the moral the abortion issue today, today is a good example. The abortion issue today is a good example. So now the people have had their say. God has so now the people have had their say. His reply through Jeremiah. And now we issue his reply through Jeremiah. First he will start by offering some correction to their perspective. Offering some Let's correction to their perspective. 20 through 23. Let's read verses 20 through 23. Then Jeremiah spoke to all the people. Then Jeremiah, the, the women, to all the people, the people, the men, the women, the women and saying, all the people who had given the him that answer, saying, the incense you in the cities of Judah, the incense that you burn in the cities of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem, your kings, and your princes, you and your fathers, and the people of the land, and your princes, did not the Lord people of the land, and did not the Lord remember them? So the Lord could no longer bear it. Because so of the, the evil Lord could of your doing bear it, and because, because of the, the abominations you're doing, which you committed, and because of the abominations which you committed, therefore your land is a desolation. Therefore your land 
the curse, curse and without an inhabitant as it is this day not an inhabitant because you have burned in this day and because you have sinned against the Lord and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord or walked in his law in his statutes or in his testimony therefore this calamity has happened to you therefore this calamity has happened to you as at this day Jeremiah starts in verse 21 by Jeremiah starts in 21 by reminding the crowd of the notice of the Lord. That their pagan practices it was only his graciousness and mercy that it was only his graciousness in these practices for so long them to continue in these practices for so long while he sent his prophets to beg them to when he can no longer bear their evil doings but when he can no longer bear their evil doings he and the abominations they told them he would he and they entered their covenant he told them he would when they entered their covenant please remember these pagan activities weren't just remember, limited to offering these pagan activities weren't pagan just limited deities. to offering they also included pagan things such as they also included children and fire things such as that of god Mola. children and fire that, that abomination in and of itself was cause enough that for god abomination to act. Was cause enough for god to act therefore your land is a desolation and astonishment a curse and without an astonishment a curse as it is without an inhabitant as it is at this, this time day. in history the majority of Judeans at this time in history on the ground the majority of Judeans were taken off on the ground in Judah or here in Egypt taken off the Babylon were very or here in very Egypt. few inhabitants there were very in at this point very few and this is because of their idolatry and this not is because, because they idolatry. stopped making offerings to the Queen not because of heaven, they because stopped they making offerings to the Queen of Heaven, but because they turned away from the one true God and led because they turned away from the one true God and led a life of sinful indulgence and abomination. So now that He has corrected their view of the past, God through Jeremiah will now deal with their future. God through Jeremiah will now deal with their God through Jeremiah will now deal with their future. Let's read through 27. Twenty-four through twenty-seven. Moreover, Jeremiah said to all the people. And Moreover, Jeremiah women, said to all. The people, hear the and word of the women. Lord. All Judah Hear the word in the Lord. land of Egypt. All Judah Thus says in the, the land Lord of, of Egypt, the God of Israel, saying, Thus says the Lord of you and your wives have spoken saying, with your mouths and you and your wives have spoken saying, with your mouths. We will surely keep our vows that we have made to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and pour out drink offerings to her. You will surely keep your vows and perform your vows. You will surely keep your vows and perform your vows. And perform hear the your word of the Lord, all Judah, who dwell in the land of Egypt. All Judah, behold, who dwell in the I land have of sworn Egypt. by my great name, behold, says the I Lord, have sworn that my name, name shall says no the more Lord, be named in the mouth of any man of Judah. More be named in the mouth of Egypt, any man of Judah. The Lord, all the God land lives, of Egypt, saying, Behold, I will God watch lived. over them for adversity. Behold, I will watch good. over them for adversity. And all the men of Judah, who are in the land of Egypt, all the men of Judah, who are in the land of Egypt, sword and by famine, be consumed until there is sword and by famine until there is to them. Okay. Well, first notice in verse 24. Okay. Well, first God notice in verse 24. That although the husbands were at fault, God makes by going clear along that all the husbands were at fault, not their by going along with, he is still addressing not correcting their wives. to all the people, including, all including all the to women. all the people, including ultimately all the women. No one bears your sin but you. No one bears your sin unless but you've you. accepted Jesus as your Savior and have unless you've accepted Jesus as your sin. But pay the price Once you are saved, you must take your sins to the Father for forgiveness. Take your no one else can take for them there for you. No one else can take them so there for you. The wives had to embrace the fact that they were sinning. The wives had to embrace the fact that they were sinning, even if their husbands were passively supporting. Then God, speaking as the all-powerful, then God, Lord speaking of hosts, as the all-powerful, recognizes the truth hosts. of what they have just said to recognizes Jeremiah. The truth. They made a vow to their pagan goddess, the Queen of Heaven, and they, they made a vow to their pagan goddess, the Queen of Heaven, and they fully intend to keep that. Then I'm sure, much to their surprise. God endorses, then I'm sure much their their God, God, saying, God endorses their commitment to the pagan God God endorses their commitment to the pagan God is surely keep your vow and you surely keep your vow at this point vows. Jeremiah's audience may have been confused at this point Jeremiah's audience may have been confused that cold hard reality of God's support for their pagan practices of God's support for their pagan practices in verse therefore hear the word of the Lord all Judah who dwell therefore hear the word of the Lord all Judah who dwell in my great name says the Lord behold I have sworn by my great name says the Lord that my name shall no more any man of Judah in all the land of Egypt, man saying, of Judah, the Lord in all the land of Egypt, saying, the Lord. First, remember, this is the Lord of hosts. The Lord. Of remember, this is the Lord of hosts. Speaking, the Lord of a new emphasizes his power, speaking. and he starts by specifically limiting the start message to specifically the Judeans who fled into Egypt, the message to the Judeans to his command for them to stay in Judah. Disobedience to his command for them to stay in Judah. Then he tells them that he has made a vow. He has then he tells them that he has made a vow. As opposed to their he swearing by the great name, as opposed to their swearing by the meaningless name, no longer shall any of them be able to call on him. No longer shall any of them be his name. Call on him or even if they want to worship their non-existent goddess, if they want to worship their non-existent goddess, 
and she will have to protection. provide everything for them, including there their protection. There will be no more syncretistic worship. There will because be they no will more syncretistic be worship. God's name. Because they will not even be able to utter God's name. They are now fully committed to their name. idolatry. They are now fully committed to their idolatry. And God will ensure, God will ensure this in, verse 27. in its result. As he states in verse 27. Behold, I will watch over them for adversity. Behold, and I will watch good. over them for adversity. And all the men of Judah not for good. who are in the land of Egypt all shall be consumed by the sword and by famine until there is an end. sword and by famine until there is an end. Yahweh Sabaoth. The God of innumerable armies will watch the God over of them innumerable for armies adversity and will watch over them. He will ensure their obedience good. to their people. He will ensure their obedience to their people and thus all will die in God's and thus all in going to Egypt and for their continued idolatry. In going to Egypt and for their continued idolatry. Yet, yet, in his endless mercy, God will still provide a way out, as he mentioned previously. He will provide a way out. Let's read verses 28 through 30. Let's read verses 28 through 30. Yet a small number who escape the sword, a small shall number return who escape the, the sword, to the land shall of return from the land. And all the remnant of Judah who have gone to the land of Egypt, all the remnant there, of Judah who shall know these the words will stand. Shall know these words will stand. And this shall be Mine a sign to you, says the Lord. And this shall be a sign to you, says in this place that I will punish you in this place. Surely stand against you. Know that my words will surely stand against you. Thus says the Lord. Behold, Thus I will says give the Lord, Pharaoh Hophra, Behold, king of Egypt, I will give into the hands Pharaoh of his enemies, Hophra, king of Egypt, into the hands of those who seek his life, and into the hands of those who seek his life, and I gave Zedekiah, king of Judah, king of Babylon, <laughs> his Nebuchadnezzar, who king sought of Babylon, his enemy, <laughs> his enemy, who sought his life. Once again, Jeremiah makes mention of the Once small again, number Jeremiah who will escape the sword and return to Judah. Although we know that there's been an established, although we know that there's been community. In Egypt, since long before the Egypt. Babylonian invasion, long before the Thought Babylonian invasion, God's verdict of death here refers only to those Jews God's verdict of death here refers only to those Jews who left Judah the ones after the Babylonian left, victory, the ones who left, contrary to God's request, contrary to stay in God's land. request that they stay in the land. Y'all I hear is going to make this challenge of the gods very Y'all simple. Y'all I hear is going to make this challenge of the gods very simple. Just watch and see what happens. And Just watch and see if my word is true. And you'll know if my word is true. And to make it easy for them, God will give them a sign that He is watching over them for adversity. The sign is over them for adversity. They will all die. The sign is they will all die. Except for the small remnant. And as part of this effort, God will give the Egyptian Pharaoh. And as part of this effort, God will give the Egyptian Pharaoh. And in the hands of those who sin his life. In the and same way that God gave Zedekiah, Zedekiah of the same Judah way that God gave Nebuchadnezzar Zedekiah of Judah in the hands of Zedekiah. So let's talk about this for a moment. So let's talk we know that God is going to have Babylon conquer Egypt. We know that God is going to have Babylon so conquer Egypt. Is that what he's talking about so here? Is that what he's if so, talking about here? Why didn't Jeremiah just say that Pharaoh so, Hophra would be given into the hands of Nebuchadnezzar? Why didn't Jeremiah just given into the hands of Nebuchadnezzar? Well, it's because he wasn't given into the hands of Nebuchadnezzar. He wasn't given into the hands of Nebuchadnezzar. According to directly. the Greek historian Herodotus, according to the Greek historian Herodotus, there was a revolution in Egypt. And there was a revolution was in Egypt. Pharaoh by one of his and Hophra was thrown out as Pharaoh by one of his generals his named Amasis, who then Amasis took his then place. had Hophra killed. Amasis to then had Hophra him killed from staging a to prevent him, to prevent him from staging a well, about 450 years later, well, about 450 years Josephus later, said that Nebuchadnezzar killed Hophra and reigned in his that place. Nebuchadnezzar killed Hophra so and reigned in his place. So it's thought that Nebuchadnezzar may have been the power and influence behind the Egyptian revolution. The power and influence behind the Egyptian revolution that ousted Hophra as Pharaoh was an approved leader by Nebuchadnezzar. Was an approved leader by We have to remember that it was. This Pharaoh, we have to Pharaoh remember Hophra, that it was who came to Pharaoh Judah to support Hophra, King Zedekiah against Judah Nebuchadnezzar. Zedekiah, that is until he saw the Babylonian army. That is until he saw the Babylonian was army. Best to return to Egypt. It was so Nebuchadnezzar to Egypt. really had no use for him. So anyway. Nebuchadnezzar really had no use for him anyway. This then is the end of Jeremiah's prophecy. This then prophecies is the to end Judah. of Jeremiah's prophecy. An ending with three forces. God's ending total sovereignty with three forces. Judah. Egypt and Babylon in God's position as covenant protector and judge as covenant protector and Judah. judge of both as Israel always, and Judah. God remains consistent in as his always, righteousness God and his love. Consistent in he his will not tolerate idolatry from his chosen people. He will not tolerate with whom he made multiple covenants with people. Just as with whom today, he will not tolerate unbelief in his son. He will not tolerate unbelief in his son. Yet for Israel and Judah, God would always preserve a remnant. And Judah, and as we see here, a even remnant. amongst those, and as he we see here, to destroy, even amongst those, he open he for those to destroy. He leaves the door open for those to, 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 to turn back to him, just as with mankind. 
A person just has up until the moment of his death to accept his son Jesus as their Savior. Death. No matter how Jesus is afraid savior. they have lived. But if they don't, lived. there is no second chance after they death. Don't, there is no second chance after death. Hebrews 9.27 tells, tells, tells us, and it is Hebrews 9.27 tells us, but after this, they die judgment. once, but after this, the judgment. Now we're going to move back to an earlier time in Jeremiah's ministry. We're going to move back to an earlier time in Jeremiah's ministry. As we consider chapter 45. Let's remember. The Jeremiah's ministry started under good King Josiah. Jeremiah's ministry started and under that, good King Josiah. And after that, there were four more kings before the exile there were to Babylon. There four more kings before the exile to Babylon. None of these were good kings. All of them did evil. None of these were good kings. Wars. All of them did evil in the sight. The first two in our list were sons of King Josiah. The first two in our list sons of King were sons of King Josiah. The events here sons of King Josiah. In chapter 45. And the events here took place in chapter the reign 45 of King took place second son the reign of King Josiah's Jehoiakim, second son who reigned in Judah Jehoiakim, for 11 years. Who reigned in Judah for 11 years. If you want to synthetically place this chapter If you want to synthetically place this chapter in its correct chronological spot there's very a little small. bit of debate on it. Some say it belongs very small. after chapter Some say it belongs verse eight after of chapter thirty six verse eight. Others say it belongs after chapter thirty six verse thirty two. Chapter thirty six verse thirty two. And still others just say it's in chapter thirty six. Period. It's in chapter thirty six. So period. After we do this after, later on today after we all go home, you can later on today after we all go home see you what can you think. Read the chapters and see what for now. Let's read the five verses For that not, comprise this chapter. Let's read the five verses that comprise this chapter. The word that Jeremiah the prophet spoke to Baruch, the, the son of Neriah, when he had written these words in a book, when he had written these words in a book, in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, in the fourth year of Judah, saying, "Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, to you." Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, to you, O Baruch. Woe is me now, for the Lord has added grief to my sorrow. I fainted Grief in my, to my sorrow. I find no rest. I fainted in my sign and I find no rest. Thus you shall say to him, Thus says the Thus Lord. Thus you shall say to him, Behold, the what I have built, I will break Behold, down. Behold, what I have what built, I, have planted, I will break I will down. Up. What I, that is, I will pluck land. up. That is, and do you seek great things for yourself? And do you do not seek them? For behold, I will bring adversity on all flesh, says the Lord. Bring adversity on all flesh, says the Lord. But I will give your life to you as a prize. But I will give your life wherever you go. So we see here that Baruch, Jeremiah's so we see scribe, that Baruch had just finished transcribing scribe, some of Jeremiah's had just prophecies. Finished trans we are told which ones, prophecies, but we are told they brought some feelings of depression. But apparently, they have brought some feelings of depression. But let's put this in context for a moment. But let's put this in context for a moment. At this point in history, Judah is being dominated in history, by Egypt. Judah is and the king of Judah Egypt is an evil idolater. And the king of Judah leaving his people, leading his people away from God. Leaving his people, leading so his people Judah away is from God. God. The wrath of God and so for Judah their is idolatry. suffering the wrath of God this is Baruch's idolatry. world. This and it Baruch's appears from world. verse five that Baruch had hoped to accomplish it some great five things. That Baruch had hoped to accomplish some great things in his life. He's not living during a period when great things could be accomplished. During a period, he doesn't seem to realize that perhaps the greatest he thing seem he could do is that perhaps the is greatest that which thing he is doing. Transcribing the teachings doing of a true prophet transcribing of God. the teachings of a true prophet this of God. This is a time of war. Not only between countries on the earth, but not between, only between Judah countries and on the God, earth, but between as they Judah continue to oppose and God his desires to save them. Continue to oppose his desires to save them. It is a time of destruction, as God says in verse four. Destruction. Thus says the Lord, Behold what I have built, I will Thus break down. Lord, Behold what I have planted, and I will pluck up. down. And what I have planted, I will pluck up. That is this whole Baruch land. has been tr transcribing Jeremiah's Baruch words. Baruch has been tr transcribing he knows that Jeremiah's words. Judah will fall to their he enemies that unless they turn back Judah to God. Will fall to their so, enemies he enemies so he knows the truth of what God is saying. So he knows the truth of what God is saying. At this time in Judah's saying. history, God makes it clear that the greatest thing an individual can expect to do is to live. Is to live. To do is to live. And that is what he tells Baruch in verse five. And that is what he behold, I will bring adversity in all flesh. Says behold, I will bring adversity in all flesh. Says the Lord. But I will give more life to you in all places a wherever you go. In all places. God here promises Baruch his life. God here promises as as Baruch his life. This time that is as good as it gets. Time in Judah's history. Some think that this is why Baruch placed Some this think chapter. That this is why after Baruch chapter placed 44, this chapter after to chapter underscore God's promise to save the small remnant of Egypt. Those who would escape. Those who would escape. Since Baruch is in Egypt with Jeremiah. Since Baruch is in Egypt with Jeremiah. And since he was given this promise, he was one of those who returned to Judah. 
Let's return to Judah. And I think this chapter is a great one for us to consider today. A great one for us to consider to today. That God's in the midst to of what is occurring in our country in the and midst the rest of the world. Occurring we see our world changing as we see the godlessness. We see our world changing as we see the godlessness coming forth under the leadership of Satan. Greater coming forth every day. Seemingly greater power every day. We see many day. blaming religious people. We see many blaming religious people for the problems in the world. And we see the problems in the world. And, the violence and we see the anger, and the violence. Increasing. In the midst of this, we have to remember a few things. We have to remember one: that God is sovereign. One, Nothing occurs God is here on earth or anywhere in the universe or without his or anywhere in the universe when we pray thy will be done when we pray we need to thy mean will that. be done we no matter need to what mean his that. will may be no matter what his will may Jesus be Jesus said in John chapter 15 verse Jesus 18 John chapter if the world 15, hates verse 18 you know that it hated me before it hated you in other words, we you. should not be surprised in other words we should not be surprised in anger violence or other we should learn to expect it we should learn because to our mission never changes. Because our we're mission to take the truth of Jesus as the one and only Savior of mankind to our world. The one and only Savior of mankind to our world that desperately needs and to unlike hear it. Baruch, we are not promised our lives here on earth. We are not promised. Our we are promised here something on earth. much greater. We are promised Eternal something much greater. Lord in heaven. Eternal life with our Lord in heaven. We've had it rather nice here in the United States for our first 200 <laughs> plus years. In a nation that continues to sin against God, in a nation that's murdering of unborn children, God, and other and murdering of unborn children, make no mistake. We make are no a nation mistake. deserving of God's judgment. We are a nation deserving. So while we are given the earthly tools, so to while we are given this agreement with our government to express our change, if possible, ultimately, change if possible, it is God's will. Ultimately, that it shall be done. So as God told Baruch, Behold, God told what I Baruch, have built, I will break down. Behold, what, what I have planted, built, I will break up. down. That is, this whole land will pluck up. That is, this let whole us land. Remember. Every let land us remember. Let us remember. Every land is his land, including land. ours. Including ours. So let us be about our business of spreading the gospel. So let us be about our Do what we can to affect change. Do what we and can trust in our Lord change. for the rest. And trust in our Lord for the let rest. Let us pray. Let us pray. Dear Lord, Dear Lord, we look at this and we see what happened. We look at this and we see what happened to Judah. To Judah, disobedience. We are not in a theocracy as not in a theocracy with you as Israel and Judah were. But Israel and Judah are still sovereign. But Father, this is still your world. You are still the one who raises up kings and puts down kings. You are still the one who raises up kings and puts down kings. And you have given us work to do. And you have given us work to do. Lord, we do it in a nation, Lord, amongst those in the nation who really need to hear it. those who very in whose sins you've right. tolerated, in whose sins you've tolerated, Lord. and you've given for a us long time Lord. here for the hundreds of years here you did with your chosen people before you enforced your chosen people before you enforced with them and drove them out of the land. We don't have those covenant restrictions, Lord, but we have those covenant restrictions, Lord, but we have we know example that your long and we know suffering is great. That your Long suffering is great. But we also know, but we also that know the world is not going to that the world end in a good, is not good way to Lord. end in a good but when good your way, son returns. Lord, that, but when your that son returns, will continue to grow, Lord. It will continue to grow, will grow Lord, in the church. In apostasy, will grow in the church. So, Lord, we just need to do what you so have Lord, given we us just to need do, to do and trust in you. Given us to do and trust in you. Your will will be done. We need to trust will, in you to give us the strength to trust and the courage to do that which you have given us to do, Lord, to do that which you have given us to do, in the midst taking your word forth, increasingly in the midst violent time increasingly toward believers, violent time toward the so Lord, we just ask you to strengthen us every so Lord, day. We just ask you to strengthen us, continue to give us the courage we need, continue to give us the courage, let us be led by your Holy Spirit. And let, let us be led by that which you have given us to do. Let's do that Father, we will always pray that you will turn things around we in this country and in the world in general. turn things around in this country and in the world in general. And we will continue to, to and do what we can in this nation where you have given us the right to vote. Nation where you have given us the right to change. But Lord, ultimately we want your will to be done. Ultimately we want your will. Because your will is the perfect will. Because your will and we just have to keep our eyes focused on you. That you may be glorified in all things in Jesus' name we pray. Glorified in all things in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.